Good morning, so I'm starting off with a good old meal before leg day. I also have my greens, I have my creatine HCL, I'm also gonna be taking my vitamin C, lipo, spirit, whatever it says. Of course, uh, a lot of water. You need water with this stuff. And you know what? You know my hair is all wonky, I'm getting a haircut today. You'll meet the barber actually. I'm feeling really, really good. And uh, first of all, welcome to Bodyweight to Bodybuilding. October 3rd is going to be coming up way quicker than we could ever expect. And the things that we're creating outside of that, like the businesses and, <clears throat> damn, I almost said it, but it's another project that I'm working on that I want done within five months, three weeks, and four days. I'm super hyped for that one. Um, and everything else, <laughs> I can't help but wake up with a smile every single day. Today we have legs. I'm here in the jacuzzi first, just warming up. Get my legs all freshy, freshy. Got my meal. So I actually have bison, one and a half cups of white rice, and then asparagus. You can see I cut up all the asparagus. Then I always add some type of seasoning, so just a small amount, not too much. So I have garlic, um, I have basil, and I have salt. Himalayan pink salt, it's very important. I forgot, sorry. Always have your gallon, walking it with you everywhere. Or, <clears throat> almost died, you almost witnessed a murder. <laughs> Unless you wanna like drink a, a bottle and drink like eight bottles a day, whatever it is, just make sure you're drinking at least a gallon a day. Really is important for your growth, especially if you want your muscles to pop every single day. But really quick, I wanted to ask you guys, what are your thoughts on competing and natural versus people that are taking stuff? Do you think it's unfair? Do you believe that the guys that are winning on the Olympia stage should be winning on the Olympia stage and it should never be drug tested or should never be checked? I don't know. I have this thought that natural competitive, uh, competing is not on a pedestal enough. And I say a pedestal because obviously the NPC and all of that is on this pedestal and and you look at it and it's like oh wow these guys are just they have the most insane bodies and everything but we sometimes forget that they are not natural well the majority of them and I just want to hear your opinions I'm not opposed to what's going on now I actually think it's absolutely incredible what these guys can do at the same time I, I feel a little I don't know like it's unfair in ways because I don't want to ever put stuff in my body like that, but I want to compete, and I want to compete at a very high level. So what do I do? Do I only compete in natural and do really good there? Or do I do good up to a certain point on the pro stage? Which is, I don't know if you could even win any pro, pro event or show if you're not natural. I, I don't know, because maybe some guys are, and I, I had no clue. But just very, very curious about your opinion and what you think. I'm exhausted, not gonna lie. Next week I'm gonna do a deload week, but right now we gotta get after it. Uh, a lot of volume, really growing these legs. As you know, my weight has pretty much been staying the same, but I've been getting leaner, which means I'm building some mass. Obviously the water intake is helping that a bit, um, but I'm not really losing any muscle or anything. I'm actually gaining, so that's a huge, huge plus. So what we're gonna do is warm up and then jump right into the workout. I just did 225 low bar. Literally zero pain in like the first time in two and a half years. This is massive for me. Like so massive. I'm not, I don't know. I'm super excited. Maybe I'll work to like 315 and I'll do like three reps at 315. Again, I haven't done this though in forever. I have no belt. I don't feel any pain. Like bodybuilding baby, hashtag. 75. Again, I haven't done this in two and a half years, like anything close to this. Remember I used to like squat, I don't know, 460 for like three? <laughs> it's insane when I come back here and try it again. Let's see how I can. Just one rep. It feels heavy.
heavy on my back, but like as I did it, it was like wonders. What the fuck, man? I haven't done this shit in fucking two and a half years. I'm like, I'm actually, I'm actually fearful of it. I'm, I'm a little bit like, I'm, I'm pretty fucking nervous now. Nah, yeah. So that's uh, three sets of three on squat. First time in two and a half years. You know, putting any type of weight. Like, I did 225. This is something I haven't done in the longest time. So now what I want to do to make sure that I don't spasm up on my left spine, I'm actually going to do some hip thrusters with a super set of hamstring movement. So you got to think about it. As I'm going down to the bottom, it's like full flexion, flexion, flexion. Spine, spine, spine. So I want to try and go into, I can't really show you my hands. I'm like, I'm like, Dr. Dr. Bin Myers, Big Daddy Natty. So I'm trying to um, really go into that extension. So it kind of, this is bro science, kind of works against what I just did here with all that flexion. I want an extension, work an extension. So let's try it out. a lot of different things. Generally, you only have this machine right here, as you can see the GHR, you see, right here. But, see? So like generally, you only have this one, but what we're gonna be doing here is going into an extension of our hips. So we're in flexion here, and we're coming back here. It's gonna be really engaging that low spine, areas around the low spine, which is including your pelvis and everything. Obviously, you're stabilizing. And then, our glutes, hamstrings as well, even a little bit of your calves, because you're going into a little bit of, uh, what is this, plantar flexion. Not door, right? Yeah, plantar flexion. So, let's get into it. For these, my super setup, the placement's completely different. Instead of giving myself more room to come back up, the eccentric or concentric portion of this movement, now we're gonna bring our knees higher up to the top. Go down slow. to uh, finish off with some hamstrings, some abs. I wish everybody knew what goes through my mind every day. But when I wake up until I go to sleep, whether it's business, whether it's boxing, DJing, anything and everything, cinematography, bodybuilding, men's physique, stage prep. It's like I manifest and I grind so hard. And that's it. Last set, let's go. How I feel about bodybuilding? Uh. <laughs> All right, so push us the hammy down. And we're gonna do abs. Murder. Yeah, you know, like they tried to put me in jail a long time ago for murdering my calves. Abs, just kidding, not my calves. I'm exhausted, as you can see. Hey, do you like Obama or Trump better? Curious. Abs, let's go. 
Hey, dude. Are you gonna work out or what? I mean, I'm just here looking at myself and these quads mostly. What are you doing here? Being a bodybuilder and getting my workout in. I gotta go. Goodbye. <laughs> Never ends. Natty as fuck. <laughs> Natty gains. Non-stop. Easy work. Easy fucking work. To most. It's not. To me. Another day in the office. Nine. Ah. Let's go. so easy man you know what I'm saying like the way I feel about training is it's like doing a homework assignment but it's homework that you really really want to do and want to learn study and implement you know so just do your homework if you want to get straight A's it's the fucking truth so I'm gonna go pose now um, I actually think that's gonna be it for today I'll we'll probably talk to you a little bit later actually we'll do that Let's jump to a talking clip. Let's roll. Okay, so I'm currently in Whole Foods. I'm on the phone with my mom. You can't hear her. <laughs> She's in my ear. I have my uh, salt-free brown rice cakes. And then I also have my rice ramen right here. Lotus Foods, absolutely delicious. Definitely try these out. Also, if you ever go into Whole Foods, come in here to cassava flour or the cassava and chia seed. Like these tortillas right here are hands down the best. Now let's go eat. Second meal right here, we have two tablespoons of um, this nutso, look it up, look it up on Google, nutso uh, nut butter or whatever, and then I have salt-free brown rice cakes right here. And then I have some quinoa, ground turkey, and broccoli, and then we have my man Taylor that's about to tell you something about his prep. What are you doing? Uh, so I'm a little bit behind the behind the eight ball. But you have um, nine weeks, bro. Eight weeks. Eight weeks. Eight weeks. Yeah, so I got yeah eight you're eight. fucked. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I got eight weeks, I got, you know, a good little, good stand little Stand up, stand up. I'm not, I think you're, you're on point. I'm not terrible, I could do a lot better, but my fast track with It's also bad stuff. lighting, come over here, dude, cause like, I think it's bad light. All right, go right there. Yeah, dude. You're not looking bad at all. Let's look at the back. Put that left scap down a little bit and open it up more, open it up. A little bit more. Yeah, right there. Yeah, that's way better. Nice. So I'm gonna have to fast track maybe a few things. We'll start nailing cardio, pick up the intensity here soon. But I know I'll be ready. I just have to be smart about it. And yeah, but you have eight weeks. Last time you did three and a half weeks, and yeah. right. So I mean. I'm yeah. Gonna, see, gonna eventually. So so, unfortunately, him and I can't like go for the same same show the first time because he shoots the videos. So like. It wouldn't make any sense, like we're backstage, he's like shooting me while he's getting pumped and shit. So what we're gonna do is uh, do what we're doing now. He's gonna go in nine weeks, I'm going October 3rd. And then maybe, you know, maybe, maybe we'll, you know, yeah, pop on, have, pop a little, have a little thing. All right, yeah, Juicy Buffoons. We got some, what is this? Uh, it's uh, this rice ramen, black, black rice ramen. It's really, really good. There's nothing in here except for black rice flour organic brown rice flour, organic white rice flour. So it's like a combination. I had actually four servings. If you look closer, um, it's 27 carbs for half. And I had 
So I'm basically having about 100 carbs, to be honest. Um, so I have that, cooks up really quickly, and then I have salmon and broccoli. So eight ounces of salmon, eight ounces of broccoli. I believe that's like comes out to 500, 380 calories for that. So about 800, 800, 900 like 30, 40 calories. So I'm definitely having a big meal. I have a little bit more, and I'm debating on whether or not I'm gonna be doing back tonight as well. So I already did legs, but I kind of, I wanna rest all day tomorrow, so I might just do back. But I won't do so many supersets. I wanna do some more focus work on my back. Hmm. My man Taylor, I just got done back from uh, get like, all my training. I can't speak. I had a two a day, so I did back. I didn't really film it, actually, I did a little bit. It's on my Instagram. But uh, I come back here and look at freaking, my man, what are you? Dude, that's a lot of chicken, bro. Serious. That's, a, that's like, if you weighed that, guarantee that does not fit in your macros. Okay, you do, do a little, little warm up with it. Ooh. A little action like that. Oh, boy, I'm <laughs> playing the game. How you feeling? Feel good, feel good. I'm starting to feel, starting to feel, starting to feel lean. Starting lean? To feel, you got starting, lean gains? Starting to feel like I'm doing it. Yeah. Oh, man, guys. So, so I was on the, I was texting my, my so I feel like coaches, right? So I have a nutrition coach. Um, I don't have anybody for my training because I really know un and understand training like more than most people. <laughs> um, I do have my own philosophies and the things that do work that have been working like wonders. But um, it was interesting. It was actually pretty cool. So I got into like this little debate with my coach about two a days and its effectiveness and how uh, you know he believes that it's not effective. It's actually detrimental to your nervous system, um, especially for your recovery. And so I, I can understand where he's coming from in many different areas, but I told him that, you know, I've been researching this for a very long time and even tested it out on my own body. And I've seen incredible, incredible results when I do two a days selectively. And I, I use that very, very precisely, selectively. Not all the time, not three days per week, not two days per week, maybe once per week, maybe even that. And so for me, it's more important to get 36 hours of rest, which is gonna be over the next 36 hours, than going and not really having rest in a 24 hour period because I need to get my training in. So for instance, tomorrow, Wednesday, I have a long day. I don't wanna go into it hitting back and buys if I know that I'm not gonna be able to rest once I wake up all the way through to the next day when I wake up. So I just shifted it a little bit. I did legs this morning and then I hit back this evening. So I'm going to increase, and I didn't talk to him about this. He's been pretty busy, but I'm going to be increasing my carbs today, about 30 to 40 carbs. And then I'm gonna increase my proteins about 15 to maybe even 20 proteins for the day. I'm not gonna increase my fats too much, maybe a couple grams, but that's pretty much it. And the reason why I'm gonna be doing this is because I'm exerting that much more energy, that much more calories, and clearly I need to nourish my body after this training, even though I only have, I would say like 500 calories left. So from those amount of calories, I'm gonna add those in, and then I'm gonna increase it even more. So today was a very, very intense day. Emotionally, physically, A from Z, YouTube, haircut, like your boy is all over the place. So what I wanna make sure I do is just, just prepare myself in the right manner. Um, and I'm gonna get some good sleep, I'm gonna have a great meal, and that's it. So yeah, I wanted to end this video off with that. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. October 3rd, it's coming sooner than we could ever imagine. Taylor will be uh, competing in eight weeks, so we'll definitely get some of that on film. Thanks for tuning in. Remember the podcast every Tuesday and Friday. You can check it out on iTunes, also here on YouTube every Tuesday. I really appreciate you. Check out the end screen card. It's gonna be freaking dope. Check out the latest video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time, all right? Peace, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. See you, I, I, I'll see you next time. Okay, I'll see you next time. Peace, subscribe now. See you next time, brother. Whoa, baby, you know, yeah, you follow me on this Instagram phone, you know October 3rd, coming really close, oh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be so fucking shit.
ready. You better believe in me. Boom! Mic drop. 